Representing Open Door Creative, designer Kevin Forrester. What's up YouTube? Today we're going to tackle a series of online games to test our skills as a designer. Let the games begin. If you like design and you like games, this is the video for you. This is inspired by a video made by Zimri Mayfield on his channel. He went through all these games, he set some high scores, and we're going to try to beat those scores today. I challenge all of you to compete in these games as well. All the links are in the description. All right, first we're going to test some color. Let's see if our eye can differentiate and figure out the correct color that is being shown. Let's get started. All right, maroonish. All right, these start easy, but they're going to get hard. See, we're crushing this so far. You gotta go quick too, which sucks. Um, uh, purple? Oh my god, these are all the same. Uh, oh sh! Oh my gosh, we're getting lucky on some of these. No, five ninety nine. All right, we'll take it. 599. If you can beat a 599, comment in the comments below. All right, so our next game is about kerning. Kerning is the space between letters and being able to adjust those so that they're more visually pleasing within a font family. Sometimes you might type something out and some letters cause some awkward spacing between each other. One thing I like to check is something that my creative director when I first started in the industry told me, which is if you filled in between each letter with water, would that water fill the spaces evenly and correctly? That doesn't always work all the time, but for the most part, it's a pretty good judge of if things are properly kerned. So let's try it out. All right, so we're gonna move our letters around. We cannot change the position of the front or last letter. So we gotta keep that in mind. All right. I think that looks pretty good. 92, we'll take, we'll take. All right, I think our Y will go under the serif. Mm, that looks good. Oh my God, our Y was jacked, 80. Ooh, that's gonna hurt us. All right. Move our L's a little bit. Sometimes some of these thicker fonts are hard to tell. Because the spaces between are not as evident. Go with that. Come on, above a 90, above a 90. 100, let's go! I know it says Holly, but holy... Didn't expect that 100. Alright, this font doesn't even look like it goes together. But, you know, whatever. That W is whack. W's are tricky too. They take up a lot of space and trick the mind. We'll go with there. 100. We're in it. Oh my god, these are very... These are very spaced out. Just gotta move a little bit for sure. That? 100, let's go. All right, we're, we got our groove, we got our groove. All right, this is fun, this is fun. This is kind of a weird font. We're getting real, we don't wanna mess up our scores, so we're getting real, real picky on this. I feel like there's too much of a gap between that R. All right, we're gonna go with that. 92, we'll take it, our S was a little off. That's fine, that's fine. All right, Quixote, let's see, ooh. Got some curvature in this font. Might be a little tricky to kern, but we're gonna make the letters fit together as nicely as possible. Oh, way off, 71, oof. Everything needed to move to the left. That's the other problem. If you mess up one letter that's too far from the side, then you're gonna adjust the other ones accordingly and they're all gonna get jacked up. All right, gargantuan, oof. Lots of curves in this font, this is gonna be tricky. We're gonna do the best we can with how many letters there are. Um, space. That looks good, please. High score. 100, let's go. That was a gargantuan surprise. Congratulations to the Toronto Raptors for this year's championship. Though you lost Kawhi Leonard, you still got a championship. So, be blessed. This one's a little bit tricky. Man. We don't want to mess up our score. We're getting real, 
real picky up in here. 100. Let's go. Everything just a minuscule amount off. That's fine. Xylophone. All right, let's not mess it up while we're ahead. Let's go. I think Zimmer got a 96 on this thing, so the chances of us beating him are probably slim, but we will do our best. That? 100. And that leaves us with a 94. So we are two points short of Zimri. He got us on this one. All right, brand scene. So this is where we have to recognize the color of popular brands, which I am going to suck at this. I will tell you right now. All right, Coca-Cola, let's go. It's red. <laughs> um, it's a relatively brighter red. We're gonna go there. 100, that's a good start. Uh, all right, Batman, yellow. Is there a little orangey to the Batman logo like that? Uh, I don't think so. I think old school Batman might have been brighter yellow and then newer one got a little orange in it. Who knows? 95. Uh, Yahoo is purple. I think it's a brighter purple though. Go there. 92. All right, Dropbox. I have no idea what Dropbox is. I think it's blue. A little teal action in it, maybe. Shoot, I don't know. That looks right, but do we really know? I don't know, we're gonna go there. 70. All right, it was super, super teal. Yeah, we're slowly going down, guys. Let's, let's pray. I mean, McDonald's, we better know, because we've seen this a million times. There's a little bit of an orangey yellow to it. 100. I know my McDonald's. Give this guy a happy meal. All right, Starbucks. It's green. I think it's a darker green. Oh, maybe not that dark though. Did they rebrand two and lighten up their green? I don't know. That looks good. 88, okay. IBM is blue. What blue? I don't really know. But we're gonna go there. 75, not great, not bad. Shell has a red with mixed with the yellow. I'm gonna go like there. 68, oh man, we're really blowing it now. That was a bright red, I didn't know it would be that bright. The Apple logo, isn't the Apple logo just one color? Okay, that's 100, so sure. Uh, my average score is an 88. For the tie, me and Zimri are the same at recognizing logos. Great. <laughs> All right, so in simplest terms, a pixel is a very small little microscopic square um, on your artboard in your design programs. So basically, if you were to zoom in all the way, your picture or your art would be made up of all these little tiny pixels. And so whenever you're doing banner ads, it might be that you have one that's 300 pixels wide by 250 pixels tall. That's what you would type into your specs and in your dimensions within your program. And then it would make that box for you. All right, so let's draw some pixels. The first box we have to do is 25 pixels by 35 pixels. So I'm gonna say, we have to go a little taller than we are wide. That looks good. Ooh, off by 14, that's not bad. All right. All right, all right. 70 wide by 115, but close, maybe there. Oh, we're way off there. 110 wide by 145. Now, luckily, your computer programs do this for you. You will never have to draw your own pixel boxes. So let's just start there and make that very clear. 110 pixels is gonna be bigger. Not too big. We'll go there and then 145 height. I was off, but not by the most. 120 by 215. We'll go there again. Oh man, 415 by 440. All right, this is a bigger boy. Let's see. Not big enough. 399. All right, so the next game is called shape.method.ac. So this, we're gonna drag essentially our anchor points on vector objects. I think this is a great way to practice and understand the pen tool with an illustrator. So I highly recommend everyone go try this out because dragging your points 
of your uh, letters and things like this or is something you're gonna do a lot. So to try to get your curvature right on your letter forms or any other kind of vector work you know, you're working on. And oh, just like Illustrator, if you hold shift, it looks like this game allows you to, you know, make your anchor points go straight. Okay, something like that. That was good. 95, 95. We're gonna bloat this out a little bit. Bloat this one out. Oh, no, no, I still wanna work on it, okay. Does that look good? No, the bee's wonky. Sure, it's wrong, but that's fine. 78. Oh, we need to go a little bit more up and down. I feel like we tried to go up and it wouldn't let us go up anymore, but whatever. All right. Oh God, it's looking ugly. Oh my gosh, this is bad, guys. This is real bad. Oh, please, Corey, say, if you're watching this video, you type master. I apologize for how ugly this is This is going. I swear I'm doing my best, even if it doesn't look like it. Sure. All right, 86. Oh, man, we need to adjust sideways, too. Okay. Oh, that look, that A looks a little jacked. I feel like that bottom one's not wrong. Is that a trick? Sure, that looks good. Give me that 169. Oh my gosh, I failed that one hard. All right, come on, come on. There's still a chance. This is where my weaknesses are really showing, is in this game right here. I need to step my type game up big time. Okay. Sure. 90, all right. I think that's our first A of this game, because this game is hard. Yeah, a little off, a little off. Three remaining, all right, let's get this moving, because this is not my favorite game, because I suck at it. Though that means I should probably play this the most, so I can get better, but. Some of these fonts are just weird anyway. Like, what freaking font is that? I don't want a three that looks like that. Apologize to anyone who wants a three like that. Okay. 95. All right, two remaining, let's go. G. Oh, and a big old ampersand to end it. Like, what is this? This is already jacked up. Our parts are not the problem. Sure. Oh, this went way out. All right, 76. So our ending score is an 83. All right, so that was fun. That was a wide range from knowing brands to being able to identify colors to being able to kern your letters correctly to using the pen tool. So lots of cool games. If you have any other games that you uh, have played before online, post those below. I think they're a bunch of fun and they help us continually improve our craft like in a fun way. When you played all these games, which by the way are linked in the description below, which games did you accelerate at? What were your scores? Let me know. If you had fun, if you learned something, if you hated this video completely, please let me know in the feedback and I will continually optimize the channel to make sure that I'm not putting out content that just nobody cares about. Cause you know, I care about you guys and I want you guys to get some value out of what I'm doing. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.